guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. I needed a new shop back for here at the studio. The shop is getting a little dirty with bringing mowers in and out of this section here. And I figured, why not reach out to Vavor and see if they had anything that would work? Well, Vavor came through again. This is a really small shop vac, not the smallest one they offer, but certainly not the largest either. It's 2.5 gallons or 2.6 gallons, I think is what it comes out to. And um, got good reviews. We're going to go ahead and unbox it, check it out, put whatever it is that needs to be put together together, and then we'll see how well it works here in my little studio. Yeah, this is cool. So just the right size for what I need. I want to be able to use this for up here, mainly for cleaning up top here, but I also wanted something that was small enough, light enough, take it out and do detailing on cars, be able to clean up cars, vacuum them out and whatnot. And so I was looking for something relatively small that seems to have fit the bill. Okay, go ahead and open the top here. Just two little squeeze tabs. And uh, okay, wow. All right. Lots of spare parts. I'll take all those out. We'll get everything out on the table. And you can see what it has. So this I was wondering because I was going to order some extra bags and they said ours doesn't use bags. And I was like, well, how is, how is that? And what they've got here is a reusable bag, a reusable screen. And so it has a conventional filter that's uh, around the pump itself to protect the pump. That's what this is here, and it's, it's one of those ones you could take off. I don't want to pull it all the way off, but it's, it's kind of like mesh netting. You can take that off and clean that, wash that out. But then it has this, and it, this just sits in here. And so when it's running, it's filling that bag up and allowing the basin of this thing to get filled. Once it's filled up, you take the bag out. Again, you could wash this. It's like a, it's a, a like burlap is what it feels like dump out your contents and put it all back together again you're clean so it actually will save money in the long run not having to replace bags all the time so that's kind of cool all right let's check out the manual real quick wet dry vacuum cleaner inst uh, instruction manual it says and this is model bj1623-10 and it just shows the components it comes with some assembly required. The assembly is, is very little here, and it just talks about if you ever you know needed that. Um, yeah, it says pretty much dust off your bag or your catch, I guess. Wash it off and then let it dry. It shows it drying in the sunlight, so it must dry relatively quickly. And then it even has some fault code stuff. Not a lot going on though, only eight pages, all in English, however. All right, so we do have some fittings here. We'll take a look at those. And that's nice. It's like, a, I don't even know how to describe that. It's, it's a hook. It's, it's the pointed thing there, but you can actually take this off, flip it around, and it's got brushes on the end. So that's one fitting. And then this is the one that most likely going to be using up here. Kind of your conventional flat vacuum cleaner. There is a little bristle brush on the bottom there for vacuuming up carpet or low pile carpet. This is for high pile carpet here. A more conventional deep brush for cleaning. This is what you're really going to get into because very narrow opening for cleaning cars and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. All right, and then lastly, and I don't know that I'll use these, but I'll put them on for right now. Um, it does come with four rolly wheels. You just press in. So no tools required to get this thing assembled, which is kind of nice. These just kind of fit in there. And if I wanted to remove them, I can. I would say this unit being so lightweight to begin with and even full, it probably doesn't need rolly wheels on there, but if you want them, you got it. So there we go. And those all rotate in any direction you want. Uh, our power, I don't know how long this is. Let's take a look here. One of the few things that was said online about this is that uh, some people felt like the cord could be longer, but I mean, that's, you know, let's see here. I'm all the way to the camera. That's that's 12 feet, maybe 15 feet. So I wouldn't say that's too short a cable. That's for sure. Hmm. All right. Now I do see up on top here, it's got little spots so we can hang 
See that? We can hang our uh, fittings on the top there. So that's kind of cool. Here is our on off. 2.5 horsepower, 2.6 gallons is the size it has. And then here is our hose. Maybe they were talking about that. I don't know. You could get an extension, but that, that probably could be a foot or two longer for getting into the backseat of cars, you know, to vacuum out trunks, stuff like that. But I do like I do like that that nozzle on there for grabbing stuff. So and it looks like that just kind of twists in and locks, yeah, just locks into place like so. Cool. Well, let me clean up a little bit here. And a very little bit, I mean. Let's put this thing on the ground and let's give it a try. All right, I don't know how well this will show up on here, but we'll go ahead and flip it on. It's not very noisy. I'd say it's probably half as noisy as the last wet dry vac I have. So that's a little bit of a pleasant surprise. Usually these things can really burn your eardrums if you operate them for a long period of time. As far as suction, I'd say that's pretty good suction. So I'm going to put on the low pile cleaner here and uh, I've got a mess here. I don't know how well it shows up, but I'll, I'll go ahead and we'll suck some of this up on film. So definitely works well. Doesn't like pine cones or pine needles. These pine needles, not with that fitting anyway. So let's try it just a, a bear. I'm sure it'll suck them up, no problem. Plenty of suction. In fact, it's actually pulling the carpet up a little bit. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, so I would say power-wise, it's got what you need. I mean, it's not the most powerful vac you're going to come across, but it doesn't really need to be at that. It's just, this is more for cars and light carpet use. As far as using it with liquid, I never intend to do that, so probably a bad test for this one. I want to keep it dry. I don't want to get it all mucked up like that, although there may be times when I'm vacuuming out the back of a a car that had water damage, something like that. But in the, for the main part here, I would say it's working just fine. If first impressions and you know initial impressions are, I'm really happy compared to my other one that it doesn't use a bag because those bags are three pack of bags is 10 bucks now. And that's just money that we keep wasting. So the fact that this thing is just rechargeable, you know, clean it out, reuse it. I like that setup a lot better. I guess that'll do it for today. Oh, I want to point out, I guess that it does have a, a way to coil up the uh you stick your hose in there let me see if i can show you how that works but you can use this thing and stick that in there if you don't want to put your parts in there and of course you can wrap your cord up around this thing for storage to keep it safe and sound now the way i will probably make like a tiny wall mount for mine just to keep it off the floor because i like to keep tools like this a little higher up off the ground this will be in my main garage concrete floor sometimes you get water in there if you get rain going on or whatnot but yeah, that'll do it for today, my friends. I'll leave a link to where you can get one of those. And, well, I'll leave a link to where you can get one of these chairs I'm sitting on. That's also from Vivor. And I'll see you next time. Take care.